Here we are in Substance Designer 6, let's create our new project. I will name it, Cliff Rock. We will use Metallic Roughness Workflow. These are the output images nodes. We will start our shape with a polygon node. Press space and type, polygon. We will use polygon too. I am using pure ref for the reference image. It's a free and awesome software. You can adjust the size the way you want, and have always on top window mode. I will use a 5 sides polygon. Let's use a blur high quality to soft the edges. Remember. Set the quality always to 1. Here you can see the edges I want to blur. Now I will use the levels to bring back the hard borders. Always use a normal node, to see what you are doing. Set it to a high value like 10, just to see it better. See how the polygon node without a blur, has two hard edges for a good rock. Now, let's start to break that rock, let's start with a warp node. In the second input, let's use a clouds 2 node, that will give a nice texture for the rock. Let's increase the resolution of the entire material, so we can see it better. Good. This effect still too strong. Now it's better. Ctrl D to duplicate, here I will make the same, to break it a little more. I will use a different noise.
The effect is too strong, I will decrease that. Now I will use a gradient node, to make a plain area. Now convert it back to grayscale. Now we will use a directional warp node, this one will make the difference. I will use a clouds too again, but, with blur. Choose a direction and set the intensity high. Make more of these with different directions, Ctrl D to duplicate. See how it's starting to look more like the reference?
plug into the normal node, to see it better. Now, let's use a slope blur, always the grayscale version for everything, because we are not working with colors yet. In the first one, use the clouds too. Use a low value. Now, duplicate it. See the difference? Now we have a rock shape. Thanks for watching and I see you in the next video.